Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Um, I just want to further just add my two cents to the whole Keith Thurman situation. Keith Thurman, over the last year and a half, have been one of the biggest disappointments at the welterweight division. If you wonder why everybody is piling on Keith Thurman, it's well-deserving because Keith Thurman was a guy about three or four years ago who was running his mouth saying, hey, I will fight anybody. I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm not afraid to let my old go. And then here we have it, you know, three to four years later, Keith Thurman is hesitating to fight Errol Spence. He doesn't seem interested in fighting Errol Spence. He'd rather give up one of his belts to fight Errol Spence. So he's not been a man of his word. He tells Errol Spence, okay, before you know, before I fight Errol Spence, he needs to go get a belt so the fight would be more meaningful. And then Errol Spence goes to get a belt. Then Keith Thurman keeps having injury after injury. You know, hint, hint. You know, he claims. Now, I'm not going to say that Keith Thurman is lying, but then to a certain degree, you kind of be like, okay, you sure seem to get injured every time they ask you to fight Errol Spence and when Errol Spence is available. You know, Errol Spence is available right now, but, you know, well, not really. Errol Spence is getting uh, prepared for a fight. But you heard this for the last two years that he's KO's for life and Keith Thurman hasn't had a KO in a minute. He's been going the distance. You know, I felt that he could have KO'd Danny Garcia if he would apply a little more pressure, and he didn't do it. But I laugh at a lot of these diehard Keith Thurman fans, you know, a lot of these idiot motherfuckers that was making these uh, uh, remedial, retarded-ass videos that were saying that Keith Thurman would knock Floyd Mayweather the fuck out and all that type of shit, man. Let me explain something to you guys. Keith Thurman wouldn't beat Floyd Mayweather. I just recently seen the footage of Floyd sparring and Floyd looked like he still got it. Floyd looked like, with the exception probably of Errol Spence and and, and with a question mark, Mark uh, Crawford, he still looked like he can come out there and beat most of the 147 guys' asses. And I'm just keeping it 100. I, I, I'm just keeping it 100. Keith Thurman would not have beat Floyd Mayweather if they would have fought. I know a lot of his diehard fans believe it, but he wouldn't. And I'm looking at the fact that Keith Thurman basically abandoned his belt basically <laughs> at this time. At age 28, I think, 28, 29, something like that. And I laugh when I hear people say this shit about uh, Keith Thurman, where pe people was trying to justify Keith Thurman only wanting to fight once a year, where they was acting like he had the same names on his resume as Floyd Mayweather. Because I looked at Keith Thurman's uh, resume, I don't see anybody on Keith Thurman's resume to the likes of even... Even an overrated Oscar De La Hoya, a Manny Pacquiao, uh, a Canelo, a Juan Manuel Marquez, a Luis Castillo, a Zab Zuda, a younger Zab Zuda. I mean, come on, man. The, the, for real. Floyd did fought those type of dudes. Keith Thurman didn't just beat a shitload of Angel Man Freddy like fighters. Floyd beat elite former pound for pounds and future Hall of Famers, first ballot Hall of Famers. So I laugh when I hear these idiots get on here and say that Floyd didn't fight nobody. And it's funny, you heard a lot of idiots getting on here saying, well, Floyd didn't want to fight any good black fighters. Well, it seemed to me Keith Thurman don't want to fight no good young, fresh black fighters neither. Because last time I checked, Errol Smith was black, and he fought Sean Porter, but that's about it. And, and now, 
it's funny that Kitty Porter was one of the dudes that was bringing that shit up, but then Kitty Porter had a chance to fight Kareem Mayfield, a black fighter, and basically he waits till Kareem Mayfield literally gets to the airport and tells him that, you know what I'm saying, they decided to go another direction. So I laugh at that shit. So I guess if Floyd don't want to fight good, young, fresh black fighters, I guess Keith, neither does Keith Thurman, right? I'm just, I'm just saying, this shit came out of a lot of you guys' mouths. Like I said, I like to watch Keith Thurman fight, but I wasn't a diehard fan. Like I said, I'm, I'm just keeping it 100. I'm going to let y'all answer that question. Y'all get mad. At, like I said, y'all get mad at me all you want. Like I said, we already know all these. some of these Keith Thurman uh, supporters are fake as fuck, too, because I remember a couple of years ago, these same people that all of a sudden became Keith Thurman supporters are basically a bunch of, you know, anti-me and anti, you know, LDBC. Because that's what a lot of these clowns do to get, get viewers and shit. They think the formula is anybody that the LDBC uh, promote or stand behind, they will go the opposite direction because they think that'll get their views. And for some of these clowns, it work. You know? But yeah. If you want to be honest and technical about Keith Thurman's resume, he doesn't have the... He doesn't have the guys on his resume that Floyd has. Can you sit up here with an honest face and tell me that you think Sean Porter is the first ballot Hall of Famer as far as boxing goes? I know Kenny Porter's listening to this video and he gonna get mad, but Kenny, I'm being honest with you, man. Do you really think, you know, for real? For real, man. And nothing, nothing against Sean, but... It is what it is. That's to me. That's Keith Thurman's best two victories is against Danny Garcia and and uh, Sean Porter as of recent. And I don't think either one of those fighters are first ballot Hall of Famers. So yeah, I'm just keeping it 100 about Keith Thurman, his resume, and whether the fact he could have beat Floyd Mayweather. So, it is what it is, man. I'm out.